My first impression about being and seeing this space was like, wow, it's, it's a very beautiful. Immediately I could see and envision all the activities that could happen here. It means a sense of belonging, having a circular space to come into be and to learn, I think is saying a huge statement that we are being acknowledged in our circular thinking. Everything that we do is circular, so this adds to that positive identity about being a Native person. So when Native students come here, they're going to gravitate to this space. Indigenous space is important because it means that the institution is acknowledging Native people. It means that it's uh, respecting the culture, it's respecting the past, it's respecting the present and respecting the future. And it's acknowledging that the institution wants to create a better space and then the past uh, historical impact of educational institutions, what they put on Native people, our relatives, you know, our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents. So it creates a positive, indirect connection of bridging that understanding. Because the educational system has done great historical damage to First Nations people. And in those institutions, when our parents were forced to go to residential school, and my father was kidnapped at four years old and taken to that place, that institution, the people who ran those institutions became my father's parent. And they mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually, and spiritually abused my father and stripped him of his identity, of his language, from his family, from his parents, and all the dysfunctional um, beliefs that came from that education institution. So this is a good way of creating a more positive, uh, respectful, caring uh, space for Native people to come to in this institution. So it's showing us that the, this institution is being mindful of truth and reconciliation. Classes would benefit from this space because the intent is the Canadians and the people that come to our homeland don't know anything about us. This would be a, a beautiful space to be able to teach them about our history, the true history and the historical impact about our relatives so that they can better have an understanding of how and why. And that would help our Native students to feel more pride in knowing they have a space and they can invite other nations in their classes and bring them into this space where they can socialize, we can share our songs and share our artwork and share our creativity and share our ceremonies with all the other nations of students that come to this institution. I think education will be affected by this space. Again, by the pure fact that it is here, and that we are going to be the, what we would say, the Ogichida or the Ogichida Kwer, the Ogichida Nanini. Those warriors of peace are those ones that go first, those trailblazers. And I think that's what this space is going to represent. It's going to open that door of a new pathway. And how it was supposed to be from the beginning of time when the settlers came, is that they will be side by side in walking and respecting each other's language and, and ceremonies and teachings. So this is a good, good way of doing that, and that it would be my prayer, my hope, that that's what it's going to create, a better understanding.